so uh, in the last video I said that whatever commands I have done for uh, installing OpenCV plus Dlib and face recognition all this is in one so there are there are there were a lot of commands that I have run it so point is first how to get all those commands and secondly I, I, I told you that I'll, sh I'll share one uh, simple script file so as many of you will be watching this who just work on Python and may not be aware very good about how to run SH files and all that script files so what what I'm going to show you in this one is just to how run uh, those SS files so I'm not a kind of pro but I figured out my ways and because there, there is just not one installation that I do there are a lot of package I install um, for example I worked on uh, pocket Swinix for pocket Swinix itself I have a mm. lot of um, commands that need to be run on uh, in this terminal so what I'm going to show you is let me just give you a look to you for that uh, yeah it open so this is for pocket Swinix and well you can see how down I'm gonna do so this this will do all the stuff by itself I'll just run this from Python terminal and uh, not Python terminal just the execution one so I'll just run it from there and all these will get installed now I want to recall one thing that I did uh, I did one thing that is I, I just change this one so if if you if you go ahead and do this one in your sudo visual visdo or vsudo if you go ahead and type this in that file and end of the end line and just replace this so you're not going to need any any password giving again and again so now what happens in python or if you even see those script files these all are sudo commands i'm nowhere giving echo one or something guys I find it hard to put my password again and again a and I don't want to share my password so obvious um, so what I'm gonna do is basically I'm just going to script this file so and this by charm I already have this um, upgrade in assets there is one add-on for writing batch file uh, oh, sorry um, writing script file in this but I do prefer this is uh, Visual Visual Studio Code. Where the hell it went? But this is the one. This guy I was talking about. So this is Visual Studio Code, and I find it very good for writing script files. Um, just do remember, you have to tell uh, the file for which bash you're working on. So you can find some commands online to get the batch, what batch you have, and what is the location for that batch. Um, I'll try to paste it in my description when I find it. But I'm not going to guys will be uh, if I try to explain that video will be too long and I already have to talk about a lot so but this is for pocket Phoenix I'm not going to deal with this I'm just going to show you those upgrade and upgrades so for now I'm going to create um, a script file to run this simple upgrade and update and I'll just show you how it runs and what will be the output and input so um, to do all this it's like a process that you're going to do you're going to run so I, I prefer doing with sub process so I'm gonna do sub process yep and two line gap and let's create a function like running code or running commands let's do this way okay do this then let's call it pro only for program I'm typing as program and that, and we just want to run the script file so nothing much we're going to do the single code you can just have to give the path for this game so don't copy the relative path it will just work there so just copy the path there's no worry about that let's give the path once you're done with that you just have to print let's see whatever whatever so if you don't want it to show what it is doing on the on the terminal you just can remove this line for print pro dot return code but what I'm doing is by this it will show whatever it happens on the terminal so that is one and now what I do is if so whenever whenever a script is run on the terminal it returns a value so if I'm just going to convert that so pro dot return code it's double equals to zero the zero is a is a 
that's a good run it's a success run so uh, print it pass and else 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 it will be fail right i'm oh, sorry F -A -I -L. okay so this is this is a very simple one you're just running you're cross-checking what all is happening there and once that is done we're just getting a written code and showing it up so either either you do it for for a manual run or like back and run you just want result type to be running fine or not so you can just return it rather than print for return return pass or return fail that you can do for now this is this will be enough so i'm just going to run that function again so let's let's do it so what it does is reading package so this is all this is all command that happens on the terminal so same situation so it does show zero first because we print the return code and it passes one so this is this is all done this is this sounds good to us now there there is tiny tiny still a bit of change how about i i just create new let's say bash file again i'll just say test which should fail oh i didn't give dot sh oh, thank god so it already it already got it so no problem that's shebang what i'm doing is simple i'll, I'll just i'll just do copy paste all this right i just because I'm, I'm sure it will fail and I'll tell you why but I want to show you that it will fail so this is this is done right and um, we'll just copy the part and I'm expecting it to fail because there is one thing that I haven't done it. oh boy mm -hmm. yep. so I just changed the file right and let's run it oh it did work okay my bad <laughs> so what happened basically uh, maybe it was created within this so it does accept me to do it but generally if you go ahead and create some sh file what you have to check for so let's let's do one thing uh you guys I've installed Linux, so I think you you understand what is write access, what is read read access, and what is execute access, right? So what I'm going to do is switch now. For I'm just going to go to my folder. I think I have this right away. Oh, sorry. Yep. And cd test. Yep. And ls minus l. So you see, um, oh, for both of the shell file I have read write and execute access but in case in case if you think that you don't have that okay for example uh, there's a high possibility if I'm going to run this guy I don't have X for that so I'm not sure it will run or not but it should not actually right because it's not a it doesn't have a run access so it will not allow me to do that now see it's mot 775 and then if you give this name so be sure just don't give the file name you have to give the extension and once you're done with this it will just hit enter and then you have the the run code uh, and i'm thinking to create new here okay 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 okay, okay. so let's let's create new file i'm just to, i just want it to fail i don't want it to be running Let's put it on desktop itself. It will be easy for us to run. Run dot assets. Okay, uh, we we put it on our desktop. Let's open again terminal. Um, we have ls minus l. So I have to go to desktop. Sorry. And then ls minus l. So you see, running run SS doesn't have this ex uh, run command access, right? 
So what I'm gonna do is let, let me copy the path for this guy and run it. It's CD desktop editing. It's it's easy. So you can simply do this, or you have your own way. You can simply go ahead and type in your PyCharm and do it. So we're gonna do this. Next up, and you have R U double N. I'm expecting it should not should not say that. So it says permission denied and all this, right? Because it doesn't have that access, right? So what I'm going to do is see it's M O D seven double five, and then you do run run dot S H, right? Yep. Once you do this, L S minus L, it has it, and if you go. Oh my goodness, but it's by charm, yeah. And voila, it run. So this is this is something if you if you are setting up again and again you have to make sure because whenever you change your OS and all these these X's and these uh, things will vanish and you have to do it again. So make sure you do that and uh, that's all I guess. I didn't miss anything. So this is uh, this is one way I'll I'll create the same way whatever commands I I have done for dlib um i'm gonna accept all these one and i'm gonna show you one last thing so we have this option which is history and i guess not capital h yep it's not capital h but these these are the commands so this is how you can access all those commands that you have run it so now what happened is sometime you you're installing something and you try to figure out and you hit a lot of commands and now you don't know how many you've done it so this is this is the best way now it it does score only top 500 commands i haven't run it that much it was a new machine from the day playlist one i'm uh, video one i'm saying it's a new machine so uh, there's nothing much but in case you want to access or you want to extend it there is an option for opening the bash file for this one for history and there you just have to type uh, his hist list I guess and equals to minus one I guess but I'm not sure about it I don't think so even I write it somewhere no, I didn't have it but there is a way to extend it and if you give it minus one so what will happen is um, it will store unlimited whatever you type from day one to day last till then this always exists in your system and we're going to store all those uh, commands so from that what you can do right now for example I'm already there in the home so what I can do is uh, uh, let's see history because so, you cannot directly copy from terminal it's like too much up and down so you may want it to be in some um, text file so you can do as abc dot txt Let's hit it now what you have to do is it's just have to go to your home directory let's close this one just have to go to your home directory and this is abc text and when you go ahead with this all this is there so whatever commands by far so like this is the one i installed for google chrome i like google chrome this is kazam that i'm using to record then i told you v studio if v sudo for that uh, editing and giving dollar username uh, this guy I've done that and and this is all just version updates checking and install speech recognition pip also then PyCharm community I was installing from the first video so all these all these commands that I have run done my end these all are here now I just can copy put it on the script file for SH, uh, in your sh file and just run it from shell so next time I'm I'm going to show you how how I install uh, Buckets Phoenix. That is another one which I run for speech recognition, and it's a really good thing. We we need a lot of lot of cloning, so three cloning minimum. So that is Phoenix Source, Phoenix Screen, and then um, your Buckets Phoenix. All these three will be needed. Why it is needed and all that I'll create the uh, de de detailed version in the next playlist. But this is all. So this is how you can run your script files 
from Python A and I'll share the Python script for for Dlib and uh, in the description or somewhere in the link and that would be all. Thank you.